Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. Um, when I was shuffling out the cards for you, I got an image. Um, I saw this little girl. She has like a, a bob hairdo, a bob cut. I, I don't know what they're called. Um, she's like, she, she seems like she has blonde hair. She's probably four or five years old. She's holding a basket and she's walking along this feel okay and it seems like somebody has already um prepare the feel it's like a garden or a field it, it looks small and they've already kind of like um created indentation in the dirt so that she can plant things so she has this basket and in the basket are little pouches okay so they're like a, a pouch and there's something in it and I don't know what's in it, but she has like um, about, you know, eight or nine of them. So what she's doing then is she's walking along the, the rows and she is putting a pouch into like the ground. She covers it up with dirt. She takes out her little um, watering can. She sprinkles um, some water on it and then she moves on to the next one and then the next one and then the next one. And then it fast forwards to like. I guess like not even a long time later it's like a month a month and a half two months later and then she goes out and she you know she harvests she has the same basket she has a different outfit and then the first one is like a treasure chest it so whatever she planted rather than grown into a flower or something it grew into like a, a stump of a tree and then there's a treasure chest and in it are like gold coins and then the second one, it's like a, a new doll, like a really pretty uh, rag doll. It's a really pretty doll. It's made from cloth. So that's what she wanted. She planted the seed for it and then she got the doll. And then the next one is a puppy. So it's like um, asleep in a little basket and then so forth. Okay. So these are like things that, you know, the little girl wants. She she knows that's what she wants. She plants the seeds for it and then she comes out to collect a month and a half later or like two months later. OK, so when I saw this, I was just um, thinking here, you've got some really strong blessings that are coming your way. Really strong blessings where you're basically manifesting or creating your future manifesting and creating and building and you know attracting in pulling things in that you want it's just a matter of visualizing what you want and then the universe is going to deliver for you and you're probably thinking you know it's life is not that easy how could ev that ever manifest for me because the first card here and and i understand perfectly the skepticism Okay, I understand that perfectly because, you know, the past three years have not been a bed of roses for you guys. What I have here is the tower, which is a paradigm shift. Okay, changing the ways in which you do things, changing the ways in which you believe certain things, self-limiting talks. Okay, I can't do this because of such and such reason. I can't go there because of such and such reason. I can't relocate because I have a house here. My family's here. Okay, and I have to find a job over there. I can't do all of these things. These are self-limiting talks. These are restrictive ideologies. And these are things that you kind of need to cast away if you start to, if you want to manifest the future that you crave. So let me just ask you this. Has there ever been a time in the past where you really want something? Okay. And wanting one, wanting a certain thing is one thing because then it has to start in the head, right? We have to think about what it is that we want. And then we also have to, you know, kind of talk ourselves into how is that going to serve my greater good? Okay. So for example, I want to win the lottery. How is that going to serve my greater good? Well, then I don't have to be financially worried. Okay. And then you want to think about like, how is that going to help me grow as an individual? Because the universe will only deliver you things once you're able to articulate how it's going to make you a better person, how it's going to help you grow as an individual. 
So yes, we can always think about the lottery. Okay, I want to be a millionaire. I don't want to work anymore. I want to retire. I want to travel. But the essence of it is how is winning that money going to help you be a better person or live to your full potential because it seems as if you want that money because you want to coast you want to have you know life be a little bit easier but conflict and opposition is what builds strength of character and so you want to really be clear about your intention okay some of you might be out there wanting a better job and you kind of have to articulate you know learning to you know start something from scratch and it starts with the intention i want this because here's how it's going to make me a better person so start all of your manifestations start all of your intentions with that in mind and um what i do feel is i, I definitely feel many of you uh, wanting a better job wanting a lot more financial stability and um, I also feel like some of you are wanting that degree, okay? But I feel like the way that you've been looking at things is, I want this degree because it's gonna give me a better job. But then you're not really thinking thoroughly, like, I want this degree because it's going to open up a world of possibilities for me in terms of work. But at the same time, being in an academic environment is gonna expand my mind I'm going to be learning about a subject that I'm passionate about. So it's not just about that next step in order to get a better job. It shouldn't be like that. It should be towards, um, I, I wanna say like self-improvement, self-enhancement. When we, are, we ask for things from the universe in terms of self-enhancement, in terms of uh, something that will allow us to be a better person and something that will allow us to kind of um, expand and grow into our full potential that's when the universe will deliver okay so whatever it is that you're asking for really think long and hard about how it's going to help you become a better person okay and then in exchange what are you going to do okay so going back to this image here about this little girl she knows what she wants she wants money, she wants a puppy, she wants a, a new toy. And so she knows what she wants. She has set her intention. She goes into the garden, she plants the seed for it. And so she starts to manifest it. And then really, really soon, a month and a half, two months, it comes in for her, it grows, and then it delivers her exactly what she wants. So I feel like you're in manifestation mode and whatever it is that you're hoping for, it's going to come into the picture. And so you're in a very prime position to do this right now, mainly because in the aftermath of a tower moment, everything that we believe in, everything that we've built on and everything that we thought to be true it all came crumbling down right so we don't really have a choice but to start building from scratch brick by brick possibly in a new location because there's probably something off with this location bad vibes bad energy bad situation that you want to leave behind and so you have to actively leave this situation behind so move away from it start building your new empire from the ground up What's coming in for many of you as well? Ace of Pentacles, new job, a new source of income, a new revenue stream that's made available for you. Okay, this is a blessing from the universe. Once again, it is a seed. You have to start manifesting it. You have to put it physically, put it in the ground, water it, nurture it in order for it to grow. And so there might be new work that's made available for you i feel like there was something really cataclysmic that happened in a previous work environment and you couldn't stay there so it was like it could be bad energy it could be you know a poorly run company it could be just you know a feisty unfair work conditions or i'm sensing exploitative work conditions i'm also sensing um as well like um dealing with people um, dealing with with people who might be explosive and Sagittarius um, you guys when 
you guys don't back down from a conflict, okay? People do not intimidate you. And especially people who bark and holler and, you know, um, try to intimidate, fire signs fight back. They do not take things lying down. You guys are not conflict avoidant. And so if someone gets mean in your work environment, you're going to give them a taste of their own medicine. You're going to give them a piece of your mind. And I feel like there might have been something like that that happened. And you're just like, I'm done with this in, uh, work environment. And some of you have been looking for that. Uh, it's like that stepping stone, that transition to move away from it and then move into a more harmonious work environment. It's going to be coming in for you guys in the month of February for those who have been looking. And it's going to be so amazing. Ten of Pentacles. This is a job that really utilizes your full potential. It brings with it a lot of financial stability. It brings with it co-workers and people who are a little bit more, who are less explosive, less emotional, who are a little bit more, um, I want to say like their mind is all about work. So they're a little bit more serious. This crowd is a little bit more serious, but their structure, they're organized. And this animosity is not going to be um, transferred over to the new work environment. Okay, so you have some really beautiful things that are coming into the picture. And so your advice here, we have the nine of pentacles and the message here is gain financial gain. But also what it's really telling me here is this is where you're meant to be. You're meant to take that next step. And then I also feel as well, many of you are starting to see like huge upticks when it comes to your income for those in particular, for those who are self-employed. And then I'm also feeling there's a major paradigm shift happening for you in regards to the work that you might already be doing. You might be falling in love with the work that you're doing. So if it started out very shaky and very unstable and you're just like, oh no, I'm not sure if I made the right choice shifting into this work environment. I'm not sure if I did the right thing. The universe is, is telling you that, you know, that was just a test, Sagittarius. That was really testing your ability to be flexible. But now things are getting serious. Things are stabilizing. So I feel a very, very stable work situation so if you have if you're you have been in a, a very unsteady unclear and kind of rocky like if you've had a rocky start to a work situation it's going to get better if you had a rocky start when it comes to your finances things are going to level out um but i feel like this leveling out process has to do more with you rather than the environment itself so I see many of you in the past, you're just like, I want work that is, you know, uh, exciting. Uh, I don't really care how much it pays as long as I can, you know, pay the bills. I just want work that is stirs my passion, that is exciting enough that I don't get bored going to work, you know, after three or four years. That's what I really want. And then I feel like something happened where there is a major paradigm shift and you're just like, no. Financial stability is something that I really want right now. It's something that I feel I need. And at this age that I'm in right now, it's something that will be good for me. So I feel many of you have jumped around from one exciting job to the next. And then at the end of the day, you realize that it was ex exciting. It helped me grow, but I'm ready now for the big league. I'm ready now for a career. I'm ready now for something that is a little bit more consistent and stable. And because you know what you want now and because you can clearly articulate i've done all of these uh, exciting jobs in the past now i'm ready for something a little bit more stable so that i can be grounded so that i can test out all of my skills so that i can experience and grow in a career once you were able to articulate that the universe delivered and i feel like this is what's happening and it's different you know, it's, it's different from what you initially thought, but you're, and you might have thought you made the wrong choice. You might have thought that you wish prematurely 
but I definitely feel something here was kind of, um, you manifested something and you got it. And I feel like it's different in the form that it first came in, it was different. And now it's transitioning and it's shifting. And I feel like it still has that element of stability, but also excitement. So it's like a, a really beautiful blending of the two energies that you really need it. Okay, so we have something here that's really good. It's going to grow and we have a career track. We have a also an expedited, like a streamlined process when it comes to a career track. Going from the one of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, there's going to be very quick and swift promotions. Okay, I feel like they're really telling you to stay put. You didn't make the wrong choice. It was growing pains. It needed to happen. Okay, and then I feel like it's going to resolve itself and then you're going to be making quite a bit of money. Queen of Pentacles, okay, in your A game, being in a job that's actually very cushy. Okay, you don't have to lift a finger. Everything is done for you. You don't have to do the leg work. You can kind of recline and relax and the work itself is not physically demanding. So I feel like you're in a position here where you have a powerful position, a powerful job. And I feel like it pays really well. There's a lot of stability coming in. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I want to add to this. So, Sagittarius, um, I feel like, you know, the energy is really powerful. It's very potent for you to kind of uh, start thinking and creating a list as to what you want and how that's going to help you grow so like you know number one on that white sheet of paper number one i want a job that utilizes all of my skills okay and then how is that going to help you you want to list down i want to be able to grow i want to be able to expand myself mentally i want to challenge myself I want to be able to learn how to retain new information. I want to be able to be around, you know, intelligent coworkers so that I can emulate their their processes or their the ways in which they work so that I can become a better employee. So whatever it is that you want, write it down and then really emphasize how it's going to help you grow as a person. Once we do that, the universe will deliver for us. Okay? It is a magic recipe and trust me, um, I've done it in the past and I've always gotten whatever I wanted. So it would be really helpful if you start to do that for yourself. Okay. Um, it's just the rule of attraction, but I feel more than anything. We can't really spot opportunities and things with our, our naked eye. Once we are able to articulate and write it down, it trains our mind to scan our environment for these opportunities. And then once we are aware of what we want, it allows us to see what we want in our environment. And then we can, you know, in turns go after what we want. Okay. So that's just the way that it works. It's very subliminal. Okay. Um, aside from that, I want to talk a little bit about the relationship aspect. So the four cards on the bottom deals with relationship partners. Um, so first of all, I feel like you're very, very passionate towards another person. And um, I feel like the energy is very mutual. Okay. Um, but I, I almost feel like the other person might be... So this is your energy. Queen of Wands, very, very passionate, carrying a torch for somebody. Um, the way that you're coming in is you're very dignified. It's like, you know, this energy, even though this person feels a lot of passion for another person, their energy, they're sitting down, they're reclining, so it's very receptive. It's like I'm exuding a lot of pheromones and I feel a certain way about you. But I'm not going to be so bold and aggressive where I charge towards you and lose my dignity. So this is a very dignified type of a card. You definitely carry the torch for somebody. You really like somebody. You're very attracted to somebody. But you're you're still kind of like, I, I want to say, you're 
you're very confident that they feel the same way and I do feel that like they feel the same way but I feel here which is weird because there's a little bit of a gender role obeying gender roles or you know not or you're dealing with someone that you feel is a little bit more on the traditional end so you're waiting for them to make the first move um, you might have already revealed how you feel about them and so you're waiting for them to make the effort and move towards you, which I feel is going to happen. We have here the victory card. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in particular, they're going to be moving towards you. I also have a water sign, Pisces in particular, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who's going to be king of cups who's going to be coming in making an offer okay so we have here your power of manifestation being really strong you're verbalizing what it is that you want who it is that you want and as a result of it it, it kind of like cuts out all the confusion it cuts out all the indecisiveness and it allows the other person to make a move so once you're clear with your intention, Sagittarius, once you're able to realize within yourself what you want, who it is that you want to be with, I feel like you will make it known and then the other person will be like, okay, now I'm going to be making a move. So I, I definitely feel somebody is coming into the picture. Fire sign and um, air, I'm sorry, water sign, fire signs and water signs that are uh, that will be coming into the picture and making a an offer towards you okay so this is somebody who's a little shy okay I see this cancerian type of energy like uh, one step forward two steps back they kind of beat around the bush um, communication it, it's almost like they're very very shy and they're very um, so a scenario that I'm seeing is um, you might be dealing with someone even though you tell them that you really like them every day that they wake up they wonder if the Sagittarius person likes them so it's like you you have to remind them every day that you're still interested because they're they think on a daily basis that you might change your mind okay so what I have here is the High Priestess. And this is basically uh, revealing something, revealing how you feel. And I feel almost like it's coming in as a surprise for you. A lot of the times, you guys have been burned in the past too. And, um, you know, you, you might have started out like very passionate, uh, always telling people how you feel. And then over the years, dealing with people who were not as honest and as straightforward as you are you start to hide your feelings mainly because you don't want to get hurt mainly because you don't want to seem vulnerable and mainly because you know you don't really know who to trust anymore so for example you don't want to tell a guy that you like him because you don't want him to tell all of his friends and so you hide back or you hold back and then you you know might not want to show him that you like him so you don't flirt with him so i feel like there there have been a lot of things they're they're kind of like habits that are that have been built up over the years because we've been hurt because we've been you know lied to cheated on and especially um, made fun of i feel too in some instances by other people and we might even feel like very defensive and very sensitive about these things and so we kind of hide away our feelings i see like squirreling them away not letting other people see how vulnerable uh you are and then i also feel like there has been this major paradigm shift happening here where you're just like, you know, life is too short. So it's like a major awakening that happened very recently, possibly the end of um, last year. So like after the October time frame, so um, October, November, December. And I feel like it, it, it's it's wiping the slate clean and it's telling you life is too short. 
Why are we beating around the bush? Why are we playing games? Why don't we just go after what we want? And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. And so your energy is reverberating. It's like casting a net and capturing all the things that we want. And I feel like you're in a little bit of a self-indulgent and greedy mode. It's like I've been I've been holding back and depriving myself of things that I really want for way too long. Now I'm just going to, you know, go out there, cast a net and get everything that I want in. So you for some of you, you might have a lot of suitors, just people bouncing into this vibration and getting caught up in this net. I feel, yeah, I, there's a lot of suitors. There's a lot of suitors. Um, if you're in a work environment and, you know, some co-workers just kind of uh, shimmy into your room, I feel like they're they're trying to test the waters with you. They're trying to figure out, um, you know, is the Sagittarius person single? Are they available? Um, should I ask them out on a date? I, I see that energy. Somebody who's... Um, I wouldn't say slimy, but they, they're kind of slithering in and they're try, they're like hovering around your environment a little bit too long. They're going to make themselves known. And I definitely feel, you know, somebody's really attracted to you. Um, very strong water sign here. Really strong mutual attraction too with a fire sign though. Like you like them, they like you as well. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And then there's a... A water sign Pisces cancer Scorpio that's going to be making their intentions known and what I have here is the ace of swords which is the victory card so you've got you've got two victory cards six of wands and ace of swords and I feel like what it's saying is you know decide what you want because I feel like whatever it is the universe is blessing you with a lot of abundance you can't be greedy though Okay, we can't be greedy. We have to kind of like limit it to exactly what we want and only the things that are good for us. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Okay, Sagittarius, I know things have been a little rough. There was a big transition that happened for you around your birthday time. I feel a lot of you might have been feeling like, you know, kind of like a bobblehead, just like, discombobulated it was like a major period of adjustment you're landing on your feet and you're starting to also understand things are really stabilizing okay as we shift into the time of Aquarius things are a little bit better things are more fun people are easier to talk to in the time of score um, Capricorn last month it was a little weird people were just um, not as friendly I feel so when we're shifting into, you know, a sign, an element that is very compatible with you, it's an air sign. You guys are fire. We kind of like light each other up. So I feel like the energy is a lot better. Okay. So keep riding this wave and especially start manifesting too. Okay. Um, so before we go, I'm going to make one last announcement and you guys can click off because that's going to be the end of your video. Um, for those of you who have been emailing me still um, I'm no longer doing private readings I do have somebody that I highly recommend her name is Bridget she is a psychic out out um, she's working from California so she's on Pacific time and um, I've used her services for the past two years I highly recommend her she's amazing uh, she gets information very quickly and she's very ethical she's just a joy to talk to um, if you're interested in booking a reading for yourself or for, um, you know, a family, friend, a loved one, um, I've left a link in the description box for her scheduling website. So if you would, you know, click over there to book a reading, I'd greatly appreciate it. And um, I wish you the best, Sagittarius. I will be back in about two weeks time, okay, so that we can touch up a little bit more on this, okay? Take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon.